Welcome back, fellow travelers. I'm here in Rome on Capitoline Hill. It's right next to the uh, Colosseum, and as I think you can see off in the distance... No, I have to go this way. <laughs> right there is the um, Forum. So the important thing to know is that if you want access or admission to here, you need to get a ticket. Thankfully, the ticket that you would buy at the Colosseum is good for the Colosseum. Uh, this location as well as the forum so you can get all three done I would say here budget this place specifically maybe an hour hour and a half um, if you're gonna be on a tour which I actually recommend because there's a lot of things going on here and not all of its evident they do have some cards and plaques and all that to let people know what certain key things are but if you want additional backstory it's really a good idea to go on a tour I had a tour for the Coliseum but I opted not to take the tour for this one I kind of regret it uh, I did get to go at my own pace which is cool but at the end of the day I probably would have wanted uh, a little more insight um, but I would say that if you're planning on just doing one of the three locations uh, you won't have to budget a whole day but I do recommend doing all three I mean they're right next to each other and I would actually just budget the whole day take your time don't feel rushed especially if you're not going with the tour really soak it in there's a lot of information you can find online if you have internet access like on your on your smartphone or, or anything like that while you're in Rome. Now the one thing that you'll notice when you do visit this location is that there are runes that date back from various eras of Rome's history and Rome's past. Uh, a lot of it is it's fairly trodden on. Uh, a lot of a lot of tourists, I mean if you want to have a look behind me over here, I actually managed to snap can we even see them? Here let's like well I mean you can see them off in the distance a bit. <laughs> but uh, it, it's just, this is obviously a really popular location. Mix that in with the fact that it's squeezed in between the Forum and the Colosseum, and you're going to have, you know, quite a few people. The lineups in here, though, where to get into the location were fairly minimal uh, compared to the Colosseum and compared to the other, uh, to the Forum. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Maybe hit up this one last if it's out of the three on, on your not necessarily need to do list. But if you if you like history and you want to, you know, see where the old gods like Saturn were worshipped and where their temples were located, this is a really cool location for that. And and I I don't know, it's not something that I was expecting to enjoy that much. Despite me being a history buff, I, I still think that it's really cool. I mean I mean you can see a lot of the a lot of the architecture behind me is, is fairly you know, it's fairly worn out, but it's authentic. And I don't know, I know in certain locations there were restorations that happened and they do mention if something was restored or not on the plaques that are in front of whatever notable monuments. Uh, but you can definitely see the different um, eras in Rome's history just in this one location, which is, which is really cool. Give it a go. I would highly recommend this location here. It's fun. Uh, definitely an enlightening experience to be had. <laughs> Let me know what you thought if you were here. If you weren't, uh, and this really doesn't kind of interest you, let me know why. I would love to know. Uh, but more than that, I'd like to thank you for making me a part of your day. And if you'd like to check out some of my other videos, you can do that right there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that right there. Again, have a good one. Until next time, safe travels.